Hey guys, I'm Jimmy at Ocean's East Bait and Tackle in Nags Head, North Carolina. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to tie a sea witch. In this region, the Oregon Inlet area, uh, most of our yellow fins are caught on sea witches. What we do is we'll rig a ballyhoo and we'll slide sea witches right over top just to give it a little bit of color and action. Every day is a little different with our water color in this area. So some days when we're fishing green water, I tie a sea witch like this with an orange head just so they can see the bait. Days we have pretty water, you know, I'll tie more of a blue and white, more natural color sea witch. Quick to tie these sea witches if you learn how to tie them the right way. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie a sea witch. Really simple, really easy way. And it's only gonna take a couple minutes to do. Uh, I'm tying a sea witch. You need some hair, some nylon hair, and you can buy it in a, either a hank, which is this right here, or you can get it in little two ounce packs which saves you a little bit of money and right here i have half ounce sea witch heads you can get them in half ounce three quarter ounce quarter ounce but around here most of the time we use our, our half ounce heads and then you need some floss also uh, the floss you use 30 pound floss they make 30 pound 50 pound 70 pound um, but for this you, you're gonna need 30 pound there's probably hundred different ways to tie a sea witch but this this is a easy way I feel like to teach somebody how to tie one and it works well first what I'll do is I cut about a, a three foot section of floss lay it on my table and then right here I'm gonna tie a blue and black sea witch with an orange head which is a real good green water sea witch for catching yellowfin tuna so I'm gonna start out with my cut some black hair off and everybody likes their sea witches a little bit different some people like heavy hair some people like light hair i'm more of a person that likes my hair to be light so i'm just gonna cut a little more black hair here and lay it out and then what i'll do is grab some of the blue hair and like i said everybody likes something different so, all right now you get your sea witch head, lay it down right in the middle, and you're going to have to adjust it. So it's going to, there's a little adjusting halfway through and you'll see, you'll see how to do that. So lay it on there, just an overhand knot, and this is basically just securing everything together. And then I'll tie another overhand knot on that, and this just secures everything, and then I'll, I'll start adjusting it. Alrighty, so now I have it where I can kind of adjust the hair, make it more even, flip it over. I can adjust the back end too, just to make sure everything's, everything looks good, looks perfect. All right, once, once you have it where it's, it's okay looking, it's not perfect yet, um, flip it over and I'll put, hold this between my teeth. I start to wrap. You need to wrap it pretty tight because if not, the hair you'll the hair will fall out. So I go about five times. All right. Now I do an overhand knot, and then another overhand knot. Now I'm still just securing it. It's not finished yet. So now you can see it's not perfect yet. But now I can just, it's still tight, so you, but you can move the hair around a little bit. So now I'll try to just adjust, adjust it enough where it's not, not bad. It's getting, it's getting there. So what I'll do now is I'll wrap the other direction. I'll do the same thing, but wrap the opposite way. And then it ought to be secure. And same thing, just two overhand knots. All right, here's the finished product. Um, what I like to do, I'm one of those guys, I don't like my hair that long. Some guys like long hair like that, but I like to trim mine. So I grab a fist and basically I just cut about an inch and an inch and a half off. All right, and then I'll trim, trim the bottom part too. And 
and then I'll cut cut the floss close. What you can also do, um, you can get clear fingernail polish, and, and most of the time I'll, I'll do this, and I'll just put a layer of clear fingernail polish right on top of that floss, and that helps secure everything. But uh, but here's the finished product. Bloom Black Sea Witch Orange Head. Great Green Water Tuna Sea Witch. This is how around here we catch yellowfin tunas, dolphin, about everything on a Sea Witch. Um, if you're in the Nags Head area, come check us out. We're on the Manio Causeway. In the next couple months, hopefully we'll have a few more videos on a few more techniques and ways to catch tunas in the Oregon Inlet, Outer Banks area.